Hello everyone, my name is Travis, and welcome to the channel. And today I would just like to discuss Season 5. It has pretty much been out for a, a little under a week or so, but it is roughly the collision of multiple worlds with the initiation from Season 4's blockbuster character, which was the Visitor, came down from the meteor and sent a missile up into the sky and caused this tear in time and space and pretty much I'm guessing brought into the present from the past these Viking characters as well as I'm guessing the desert area and also a golf course but yeah it's pretty much a collision of multiple worlds including the original Fortnite world from season 4 now, what I'm guessing may happen further on down the road in Season 5 will more than likely be a fight of these multiple worlds that have just been brought together on this island. You may expect to see possible environment changes similar to the ones we saw when the Visitor showed up in the beginning of Season 4, how we destroyed Dusty Depot and turned it into a divot. Now. The environment changes we have already seen have been Anarchy Acres being completely turned into a golf course, Moisty Mired being turned into a desert, and the dinosaur foot just being completely removed and covered over by a waterfall from the Vikings Mountain. Here you'll see me pick up a new submachine gun that is basically an MP5 unsuppressed and it does 19 to 21 damage per shot landed and 100.5 damage per second so that is pretty good compared to other submachine guns and this I'm of course talking about the gray submachine gun of course and there are even higher tiers of this submachine gun it is also available in the green version and as well as blue We still have yet to see if there is going to be a golden version of a submachine gun in Fortnite. I've heard that there could be a possibility of a P90 taking the spot as the golden submachine gun in Fortnite, but this all could be a fabrication and it possibly just a rumor. That would definitely be a nice change to see later on in the season as well as some environment changes. And another thing that I would like to see later on in Season 5 would be some closure on what happened to the Visitor after the missile launch at the end of Season 4, as well as what happened to a lot of the other characters. Epic still has the opportunity to implement the answers to these questions within Season 5, but We'll see. Maybe they will put them in there, but maybe they won't. Well, anyways, those are just a few thoughts for me on Season 5 of Fortnite. Tell me what you think about them, and give, let me hear your opinion on it in the comment section below. Uh, please like this video, subscribe if you want to see some more of this content, and yeah. Hope you guys have a wonderful day, and thank you. Bye.